All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. And oh boy, what a day, what a week. Uh, got a lot of interesting changes this time. So uh, we should just get right into it. So I guess good news, bad news is good news is cryptocurrency and Bitcoin is going straight up. Bad news is it looks like the equity markets are actually pricing in something fundamental that was like either they were really wrong about it or the market knows something we don't, uh, which would also be just as bad. So we're just going to have to take a look. But I guess first things first. So Bitcoin search interest is essentially doubling. Now it's at uh, 29 for this week and it's not even finished reporting yet. Right. So everyone's going into Bitcoin. So this is good. Uh, and as we can see, crypto is going up and of course, Bitcoin is leading the charge. Again, the spark lines are completely wrong here. So Bitcoin DOS is at 67.6%, 24 volume is 174.6 billion. Uh, as equity markets continue to tank, people are going to Bitcoin, especially as people start realizing, hey, you know, everyone's just printing more money. I think we should just go into Bitcoin because gold and silver is retarded. So Bitcoin's at 96.13, very good. Uh, this is perfect. Litecoin's at 43.55. So it's going up a little bit, but for now, everyone's going to go into Bitcoin and then eventually all that money's going to flow back down to the altcoins. Uh, you know, as we'll soon see here, like most of the altcoins here have very little trade value, except two by two. Um, with that being said, we will be, uh, Mitch has actually done remarkable progress on the new 404 coin wallet. So it's basically almost, it's pretty much done. We're just testing for bugs. If it works, uh, and the min stake age is 24 hours, just like two by two coins. So we'll actually be able to announce the swap soon. So. Yeah, uh, let me see, um, uh, what should I call it? Oh yeah, yeah. All right, so Litecoin's at 43.55. Um, uh, let's see, Doggy Coins at 321.2 million market cap. So the old coins aren't even, uh, the major old coins aren't doing too badly. That might also be uh, explain why Hyme and Steam have been going down quite a bit too, because everyone's just been dumping those coins to get the Bitcoin. Yeah, this one's down at thirty one eighty nine. Ah, this sucks, man. This used to be like sixty two cents. Now I'm just hoarding my dog coin before I buy any more Hive. So ugh, this sucks. Steam is at uh, sixteen point sixty eight, so not too bad. And then uh, Reddit, uh, as we'll also see, do I have that open? Yeah, so Reddit's creating their own cryptocurrency, so. Yeah, it makes sense because they have Reddit gold, so it makes sense to put that on in a blockchain. All right, so markets are down, Bitcoin skyrockets. Uh, I'm still trying to think what thumbnail is going to be. So this one is worse than expected. Carvel plans, job cuts, furloughs, pay reductions. So the globalists, uh, the globalists and the stupid fucks, uh, you know, the Democrat Party especially. Uh, have succeeded in completely tanking the economy. So far, it doesn't look like it's uh, hurt Trump just yet, but uh, it's still kind of a problem, obviously. Sanofi walks back after saying U.S. would get vaccine. Uh, I don't even know what that is. I don't really care. Cause, I mean, until I see the headline, we have a vaccine. You know, I'm just not going to really read anything. Of course, Rebel is going to take a massive pounding. This actually isn't as bad as before, because before I started uh, recording, this was down... 10%, <laughs> but either way, it's, it's going to be pretty, uh, pretty painful. Uh, but the good, but we want to see fundamentals change. So we're going to open that. Uh, why a 10% plunge in spending is fake news is good news. Uh, cause this guy's retarded, obviously. Yeah. People are spending less money. So that's good. It's like, geez. To survive the next few months, you only need two assets. Say this, okay. Uh, home ownership can't be incorporated. Okay, we are covering that, I believe. Yes. Uh, Fanny, Freddie Mac, forbearance rule, so sphere of mortgage hangover. Okay, so this is actually what we want to be reading. Well, I'll say alarm about stocks. Uh, how to view that, you know, the stocks are vastly if it's what or. Are vastly what? Overvalued. Yeah. These stupid fucks are uh, just. All these assholes are just starting to fucking tank the economy now. These evil pieces of shit. I think we do have this open. 
Uh, Connecticut governor says days of commuting to New York City may end. Because, uh, like, this is why I just can't understand or stand, like, what the liberals are fucking doing. Like, they're supporting these idiot leaders. Like, they actually think money just grows out, uh, out of trees. Which is, which is like nine, which is like seven, like 80, 90 percent true. But something has to do some kind of work, all right. So, so because like, oh, we'll just get free bike, just stay at home all day. It's like, yeah, it's uh, God. Actually, I guess we should read what this says. Well, it says day co coming to May, coming to May. Oh, it says May end. Okay, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's just stupid. All right, hold on. Let me see what Mitch uh, actually has to say. <clears throat> Holy bagger. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, and. Hold on. had to talk to Mitch there. It was actually really important, so. Uh, let's see. All right, so all right, we got our news. So GMC coins at six to nine. Uh, it's actually pretty much the same as yesterday because, again, everyone's just dogpiling into Bitcoin right now. So uh, as usual, Bitcoin first, the alpha, the alpha male crypto, and then the major alts, and then, you know, because, this, because before that was happening, you know, uh, the exotics here were doing pretty well in terms of trade value. 404 coin also has very little trade value, so it's two to three. It pretty much remains unchanged from yesterday because again, everyone's just dogpiling at uh, Bitcoin. Two by two is 63 to 66. Um, what should I call it? Two. Uh, hold on, I gotta look at this. All right. Uh, all right, so two by two is sixty three to sixty six. Uh, what's a trick? No, I don't agree. I don't. All right, I guess I'll take a look. Two by two, two by two. Yeah, so it has an okay one seventy two amount, but it's usually a lot higher. It's close to a thousand. So again, everyone just wants Bitcoin, which you know was just fine. That's just how the cycle goes. Cause hey, you know, at the end of the day. This is what we care about, right? And at the rate it's going, it's going to surpass what it was in the previous bull run. So this is going to get pretty nutty. Uh, I just wish the equity market were at least doing okay. So because this could this could potentially be a problem, but we'll, we'll just have to see. I mean, with all that money printing and not much to buy, maybe all that money is going to flow into crypto. Because if it turns out there is negative interest rates, and because of the way, it's so counterintuitive. I think the way it works is yes, you lose money in your bank account, but you are getting paid by the bank to borrow money. I believe that's what it is. And if that's the case, then I'm going to borrow a shit ton of money, get paid to do it, and then just put it all into crypto. Because I, I, I ain't touching fucking stocks. Because as much as I love Remmel, well, maybe I might buy a little Remmel actually. I was like, oh, I mean, as long as it doesn't go to zero, right? But there's a risk of that. So maybe I'll put like 10% in a Remmel, and the rest goes in the fucking Litecoin. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, yeah, and, and then actually, I'll probably be a deck of millionaire when all this chaos is over, right? I mean, Trump really does need to win re-election so he could start purging all this fucking 
evil shit. I mean, he has. He, he already knows. He's just actually been tweeting about it. He already knows that Democrats are deliberately tanking him, <clears throat> attacking the economy just so it fucks up the election. But it should also be that, you know, people within the Republican Party, well, I don't know. I think people in the Republican Party, I think the elites in the Republican Party are actually pretty pissed about the shutdowns because, you know, there's everything shut down, and that means that they don't make any money. So, you know, I don't know. We'll just have to see. Uh, but there's a reason why Republicans in general are like almost unanimous in resisting uh, the lockdowns, as opposed to Democrat areas where you know they're just trying to lock down everything as much as possible, right? Just to fuck everybody over and maintain control. Uh, Crown pound coins at forty nine hundred to fifty five hundred four oh four x three min. Oh yeah, oh yeah, forgot about that. Yeah. But yeah, make sure you, wait, you said you got a notice. Does that mean you're behind? If you're behind, I need. Call it 49, 15, 54, 80. Uh, let's see. Oh, some asshole unsubscribed, of course. Um, actually, I don't know. This is. I don't even know what. I don't even know what I used. To, what kind of content I used to put on here? So maybe it was like an old subscriber or something. Uh, let's see. So yeah, cup out kind doing pretty well. History has repeated. F2 pool explains message in last block before Bitcoin howling. Uh, we kind of already know that. Uh, stress decoupling from stocks. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, at this point, people are just getting nervous and desperate. So first, we as Fed swats down negative rates, Bitcoiners wonder what if. I mean, I already told you what the what if is. Like you'll get paid to borrow. That's what negative interest rates mean. All right, so that's what it should mean. Of course, the big banks and the banking assholes being what they are, they'll just simply keep all the fucking profit. Uh, market wrap. Some eyes face an uncertain future despite rising Bitcoin price. Uh, sell cannon. Bitcoin mining is an unprofitable business that just got worse. This uh, Bitcoin has been a money losing endeavor for several years. Now it's can second rate mining machines. Well, yeah, if you use a shitty mining machine, but clear it's not a what this guy doesn't know what he's talking about we're not gonna clear it. usually seeking alpha actually has really good info I mean, yeah i guess he's technically right we read it and spend all our time and attention and watch a stupid ad i'm not gonna bother but the bitcoin exchanges this is in free jp morgan chase is now extending banking services to bitcoin exchanges it is now bad for being coinbase gemini yeah, Chase, JP Morgan Chase has been extremely hostile towards Bitcoin, but looks, but this is actually a good thing. They, uh, they even went with Coinbase and Gemini as the first thing. Interesting. Uh, we're not going to read it, but this is actually pretty good. This is actually very good. As much as I despise them, but the JP Morgan Chase people, of course. Uh, but hey, you know, money is money. So, you know, unlike the boomers that buy gold and silver, right, and then just hide in a bunker in the middle of nowhere. Uh, these people, you have to keep an open mind because if you don't keep an open mind, you know, you'll get left behind, right? You got to play the infinite game, as Simon Sinek says, right? You know, you got to perpetuate the game. You can't do that if, you know, you're lo you're losing all the time, right? And not joining into Bitcoin and crypto, you're losing money all the time, right? Like, what, like this is especially true if you're a bank. It's like your whole business and life purpose is to make money through investing and banking. It's like, what's... <laughs> It's like it's like being in Hollywood, working as a Hollywood studio exec, and then not knowing anything about acting or something, or just refusing to, you know, uh, act. Well, no, that make, doesn't make as much. It's like, you know, it's like you ignore the power of acting. Uh, obviously, it's retarded. You obviously have to know what acting is and all that stuff. So I trade a Bitcoin. Such a, that wasn't the best analogy, but I think you get the picture. No time aren't a gift. Bitcoin ever gets worn. Yeah, I'm glad people are going to push back against that. Uh, firm of tides, former sheriff of Walter's school. This one, okay, uh, whatever. All right, 
But that's actually really good. I'm not going to click it, but it's very good that the JP Morgan Chase... Uh, actually, you know what? I want to make sure I include that in the description. So we'll give it to Bloomberg. Bloomberg's actually been pretty cool with the meat shortages thing, which I forgot to mention. There's a map. I'm not going to retweet it, but the map. there's a map that shows the actual plant closings and reopenings. There's only like six or seven that are shut down. The rest are actually fully reopened or, mo or partially reopened. So... Uh, let's see. No, I gotta notice I will expire soon. Have to log on with a different machine. Uh, okay. Well, uh, just... Can't imagine why... Okay. Uh... Ah, there we go. Just had to make sure that, um, you know, uh, very good. Hold on. Uh, God, there's so much, uh, there's so much activity. Maybe I should have waited until a little later before, uh, <laughs> starting this video, but you know, that's just how it goes. All right. Let's see. Uh, XR okay. I'm so sick and tired of XRP. Maybe I should get that thing that filters out the word Trump, the internet. Right. There's that like these liberals were so triggered when Trump won the election that someone actually created an app or extension that every time someone mentioned the word Trump, it would just simply delete the word from the page or something. It's like, <laughs> you know, I need that for XRP because I'm just so sick and tired of their shit. Goldman Sachs executive, Bitcoin targeting $1 million in just four years. Uh, well, confirmation bias is good, but I mean, I pretty much already said that. I haven't been able, because I can't go back into my Twitter and re-edit the thing. SBI plans to utilize Ripple Pay's uh, network to consolidate ATM access in Japan. Central Bank's Twitter response, high struggle of emerging markets to the decline of, okay, I don't care. Crypto trade searching for troll Bitcoin and okay. Financial giant Devere taps Dubai for do okay. Um, uh, okay, so this is all just retarded. All right, God, Daily Hold is just so bad. Even Google News is actually doing better. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Former Goldman Sachs Raul Paul says up in unprecedented global global economy could help underpin because of world's reserve currency and what might that do for the price. The United States will never let this happen. If it goes up to a million, it'll be for much different reasons. But hey, you know what? I'd be okay with people like actually thinking this and then it turns out to be wrong and it will be wrong. You honestly think the United States is gonna let go and the people who truly control the world just gonna let Bitcoin overtake the US dollar, right? It's like they would actually declare martial law throughout the whole world, you know, which is what they're doing, basically the coronavirus shutdowns. Uh, before before they let that happen, all right. Uh, so we're not okay, and then of course it devolves into technical analysis analysis f word f word tree. Uh, all right. Actually, we'll just close that. Um, God, this is your last free article. Oh great. I guess I gotta start using my archive foes, all right. JP Morgan is now banking for Bitcoin exchanges, Coinbase, Gemini. Uh, oh, yeah. Damn, that's a waste of my free article. Yeah. All right. So I just had that open because we just wanted to make sure that I include that in the Twitter description. Good numbers coming out of states are opening. America is getting its life back. Vaccine work is looking promising for the end of the year. Likewise, other solutions. All right. This is the most important thing. We need to just fix the fundamentals and then everything else will get better. 22 in my endorsement to congressional candidacy. Calvin was one big on Tuesday. Thank you all for those really okay. Uh, so called whistleblower Rick Bright. Never met or even heard of him, but he, to me, he's a disgruntled employee, not like your other who with his nationality working for our government. Okay, so he's just complaining about other people. Uh, 13 minutes, 13 hours, Obama Gate. First time to me going in I hope the house. Uh, Katie Hill resigned last year. Democrat Christy Smith conceded defeat to Mike or to Republican Mike Garcia this afternoon. Yeah, I'd imagine Mike Sermich didn't really support this guy. In fact, uh, actually, I think he did something different. He actually started attacking uh, Sink Uger. Hmm. So that I remember. Um, that's actually pretty impressive. Flipping a Democrat seat. That's really impressive. Hmm. Wow, maybe things really are changing. 
Uh, winds of change blow. Uh, hmm. See, we already used the word blow already. The winds of change blow as the howls. I actually like want to use the word blow, so which means I have to change the word blow over here. There's gust, there's, uh, what do we call it? I don't know. Synonyms for gust. We need something short and blast could work. Squall? Verb. Flurry, flurry could work. Bluster, blow, bl blast, war, flurry. It's like you use flurry or blast. The winds of change flurry. Because the winds of church. The wind of change blast doesn't sound right. The wind of change flurry as the cause. Oh, so. Proof. Uh, old school. Uh, well, I kind of want to be nice to liberals. So old school. Who? Mm, oh man, I really like the word shit library. The uh, so howls of. Yeah, I guess we'll just. Leave. I approve. Congrats to what is he's got to have a, he's got to have a. Uh, his name is Mike Garcia, right? Um, let's hope he actually has the real. Uh, that used to not work, by the way. Now, uh, like, it, it wouldn't show Mike Sarage's thing at the top when it was supposed to. All right, I'm gonna assume that's the guy. I need to check. But I mean, he's got the American flag. He looks kind of like a Republican, so I, I assume he's a he's a Republican. It'd be hilarious if I wound up tagging like a, a Democrat that wants something else. Then uh, <laughs> that would, uh, yeah. Because Mike and Garcia are two very common names, so it's uh, it's much more likely to happen than you think. All right, uh, but yeah, so the fundamentals are getting better. I just have to hope that whatever the hell's happening over here in the equity markets, um, <clears throat> it's not as bad as it seems. It's just simply panic, but there's really just no way to tell. Like, we're just going to need more time. But hey, Bitcoin skyrocketing, so works for me. Uh, we looked at that. Uh, let's see. I, mean, I think at this, gosh, she looks like such a huge cut. Um, let's see. Doctor, our central bank continue to be open to patients. Okay, for you, I can now resume elective surgeries. Ambulatory surgical centers in these counties can now also resume elective surgery. See the list of counties here. Ah, <clears throat> so. Um, I mean, if I didn't have to worry about false rape accusations, would I sleep with her? Yeah, probably. All right, you know. Uh, but I mean, of course, you know that's from the uh, if I want to ignore the uh, the Christian don't sleep with the don't sleep around thing, right? Uh, but with that being said, uh, the answer is probably I would avoid her because like she just looks like she's gonna tear my head off and then accuse me of uh, false rape accusation later. So uh, so yeah, there's a high likelihood I'll just simply say no. 47 New York counties can now resume elective surgery. Oh, yeah. So Elon Musk said elective surgeries are not actually elective at all. So this is actually really important. Um, so he's spearheading ahead. So I'm glad that Andrew Cuomo has enough sense to resist the shit lib agenda of shutting everything down and fucking Trump over. So he's like, you know what? Fuck that. We just need money. As I say, Narco has been also to begin reopening May 15th. It joins uh, Finger Lacey. Okay, so there are actually four... Uh, I'm actually going to actually look at this. We're just going to look at the map. Should we have a lot to go through too? Uh, all right. So this is good because I want my video games to stop being less crowded. I also want people in New York City to actually start working and eating at the restaurant instead of buying up all the fucking food. And uh, oh, so this is where the source of this picture comes from. 
instead of, uh, you know, buying up all the fucking meat at Target, you know. Plus, I actually am considering, I kind of want to maybe go back to background acting, too, when all this is over. You know, get a little extra cash, but who knows. Uh, uh, okay. <coughs> Capital region. Yeah, so most, so just about everyone's already meeting the uh, 7 of 7. New York City's still behind at number uh, 4 of 7. Uh, oh, this is pretty nice. I don't know, even know what this is. Share of ICU beds available. Okay. Share of beds available. Okay, so let's see. So we're pretty close to three. We met this. We definitely meet that. Uh, okay. So this should go. So as we, so probably in June, we could probably reopen a little. Uh, let's see. This is already improving. And new hospitalizations under two per 100K or in the two, three day rolling average. Now, what's interesting is there's a lot of unhealthy people in New York City to begin with, so this would actually be a good opportunity for everyone to get improve their health. Uh, and again, I don't know what this contract per 30 tracer thing is. All right, let's see. We've got a lot to go through. Fanny Freeman made for Brandon's rule for uh, fears mortgage hangover. Uh, US, U.S. homeowners hurt by coronavirus were told they could delay their mortgage payment without facing consequences. Now some are learning they're at risk of being shut out of the housing market. The snafu has been triggered by a hastily drafted 2.2 trillion. Oh yeah, the oh no, this was the, the stimulus passed in March. The law allowed borrowers government back loans to postpone payments for as long as 12 months if they're dealing with financial harvest. Any special mortgage firms must report homeowners and forbearance being current on payments, thus preventing any damage to their credit scores. But the law didn't address long state policy or should consider from getting new loans for a year after their forbearances end. For instance, family out of the government control. Some borrowers who took advantage of the relief loggers prior are now being told that they will have to wait before they can refine and obtain a fresh mortgage to purchase a home. Uh, okay, is a fix coming? Um, okay, okay. So this sounds like they just—it was just like it's like computer programming. It, it was a bug, so it's like, oh, we didn't think of that. Uh, okay. Uh, blah 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 blah. All right, so this isn't as bad. Yeah, they'll, they'll fix it. Trust me. All right, Donald Trump would rather fucking go to war with China than let the real American real estate market, you know, fucking collapse. All right, and you know, it's like obviously I'd be really bad with my war in China, but you know, he would rather do that than let that happen. So I, I think we'll be fine. Plus, it's Trump. He's a money. He's a money man and a real estate guy. All right, he 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 is real estate. Just like I'm gonna become. In fact, I always wanted to do real estate. I just didn't have any money. And I lived in New York, so it, it was basically impossible. Retail stores reopening as coronavirus lifts, uh, shutdown lifts. Okay, retail are slowly opening after current force in the shirt as the U.S. emerges from the thing, uh, the, the, the retailers aim to recover from pandemic-related losses. Retail sales dropped. Oh, yeah, so retailers are, certain retailers are considered essential, which is fine. I, I don't care what reopens, just fucking reopens anything. Uh, now, although some states like New York and San are still shut down, most of the U.S. has partially reopened. Yes, almost all stores that will increase they will increase pro cleaning protocol. Oh, that's the thing; everyone's going to be using cleaning products, so it's still going to be a while before I can get any like uh, cleaning shit from fucking the pharmacies. Without will continue to update this list. Evercrombie and Fitch, Ralph in the future, hey American Eagle, blah blah blah. Are you in the smart and sure gives the uh, okay? All right. Uh, so we have basically a bunch of stores listed here. Has we opened Georgia, South Carolina? Okay. So even GameStop. Uh, okay. Wow. There's actually a lot. Yeah. So basically, look, look at all these companies. And we're not going to read this, but because obviously we're strapped on time. But yeah, this is very good. You know, clothing stores. Yeah, everything's uh, reopening. I like it. Uh, get a new deferral option. Uh, struggling home or delay their money. We still call everyone. Get a new repayment on one of Make this payment all when the home is sold or the loan term is over. Federal FHA or deferral. <laughs> Under the CARES Act, stimulus borrowers will be government out the road FHA. They have the right to delay their mortgage payment for up to a year. Uh, we kind of already know this from the Fannie Mae thing. <clears throat> Uh, this is nothing new. This is literally nothing new. We're going to X that. Okay. Uh, got it. All right. China's seen draining funds from bank system and surprise move. 
Shane has been draining liquidity from the banking setting as lenders come under pressure to handle higher demands for funds. People's Bank of China probably allowed, probably allowed 200 billion yuan. Uh, okay, so there's manipulated currency as OZ, etc. Also, for inject liquidity with short term, repurchase it. This is getting annoying. Um, PLBC, PLB, because there would take place. Uh, Becky Lu, who had a China macro strategy, further would be China's government bond. Uh, let's do that. With the economy struggling from the impact of coronavirus uh, outbreak on demand at home, the government China's government bond sales are professionally. Okay, so this is. I don't even think this is anything. We're gonna axe that out. All right. Uh, social giant Reddit launches because it sounds like it's just normal banking operations. Like, how is that different from when we restrict money supply, right? You know, social giant Reddit launches new crypto. Um, uh, it's called Moon. It will be used to reward contributions. Okay, Moons are ERC twenty. Reddit says Moons are decentralized, not controlled by Reddit or community mods, so users can have true ownership of their assets. So it's actually good. It's very good. Uh, based on karma earned in the subreddit to date, see this will be allowed because this is not an ICO. You'll just be given it for free, and then they uh, probably pay for. Actually, they don't have to pay. Like it's Reddit.com, so they could probably just call up all the biggest chests. Hey. You know, uh, let's start coin for free. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Fill in the moon to be decreased. Uh, the amount of shared value in five will be decreased by two point five. Social media generated kind says the first one will be sure the acting of have a mass 100 karma. No, right. <clears throat> Let me guide you all out in the next two days. The future will remain in beta throughout. Uh, let's see. What kind of coin is this? It says it's an ERC20. Uh, okay, so it sounds like they already mined out all 50 mil. Uh, okay, so it looks like they're mining all of it, and then they're just going to give it all away for free. Hmm, interesting. I don't know, like, figure, try to figure out how to make profit off of this, but... Well, I mean, it's Reddit, and so, I mean, you don't want to run a follow the SEC, right? Even if, even if uh, you know, just a little bit, so... Anyway, if you like what you saw, read, or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from... Wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we can continue growing this channel, especially after uh, we just lost somebody for some weird reason. <clears throat> anyway, I am done for the day. I've got a lot of shit to do, right? So I got to talk to Mitch. So uh, I'll see you all in tomorrow's video, which I believe is Friday. Uh, in the short term, we definitely have to keep watching the markets, but. Oh, look at this, you know, markets are kind of maybe remaining neutral, so I have no idea what the hell the title is going to be. Um, but in the meantime, Bitcoin and crypto continue to gain strength uh, once these spark lines update. So fundamentals, solid. They're getting much, much better. So unless the markets are pricing in something that we don't know, like insider trading style, uh, crazy catast catastrophe stuff. I'm going to go on a limb and say it's pro. Wow, Remmel's already skyrocketing. What is going on? It's like, did something big happen just now? Uh, okay. I'm just gonna say Bitcoin up as. Oh, here you go, one nineteen. All right. So, <laughs> it's all up in the air, man. I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Um, everything will be fine so far. Um. Everything's reopening. Wisconsin and Illinois Supreme Courts all ruled that the shutdown orders are unconstitutional and they must be lifted and ignored or something like that. So, you know, the forces of good are winning. Bitcoin's going up. Everyone's jumping in now because this is the real this is the real deal. This is the real deal now. All right. We're gonna we're we're gonna be going into completely new territory once this interest goes way beyond this. And that'll be a per it'll be a total learning experience for me. So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be exciting. Anyway, uh, this will be our thumbnail. See you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks, Judson Chan, JMC Coin, four hundred four Coin. We'll be announcing. Uh, I'm gonna be drafting the uh, swap stuff today. Um, so, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. And uh, yeah, here's our thumbnail.